Hi, my name is Mikael and I'm a project engineer here at Elfus. We produce state-of-the-art photo detectors. These can be used to make the most precise wearable products. And in this video I will introduce our prototype in more detail. Using our photodiode we achieve a better signal and performance to give more precise data in your wearable device. A more sensitive light sensor in a wearable device will extend the battery lifetime of the product by decreasing the current consumption of the device. This is our experimental wrist module. We use it as a proof of concept device and to compare our photodiode to other competing photodiodes on the market. The photodiode is a type of light detector and they are used in many applications such as smartwatches and other wearable devices. They are used in heart rate and oxygen saturation measurements. As an initial test, we can compare photodiodes in a reflection test. It works by covering our wrist module with a reflective surface, driving the LEDs and measuring the signal from the photodiode. Using modules with different photodiodes, we can compare their performance under a reproducible reflective test. From the test with near-infrared LEDs, we can derive the following results. 1.5 times stronger signal count. 1.4 times better EQE, that means external quantum efficiency. 3.5 decibels greater signal-to-noise ratio. Because our photodiode produces 1.5 times stronger signal, we decided to test our wrist module by driving the near-infrared LEDs with 30% smaller driving current in our heart rate measurement. From the test, we can conclude that we retain the perfusion index and DC level even when the LED driving current was reduced. Reducing the current consumption in your device will reduce the power consumption and extend the battery lifetime. Alternatively, you can keep the LED driving current the same and obtain a stronger signal. Typically, you will get the greatest improvement in signal strength in green or infrared wavelengths, both of which are commonly used in heart rate and oxygen saturation measurements. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you found this introduction informative. If you want to know more, you can reach us by email or on LinkedIn.